Hi, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today, we're going to take a look at and see what's going on with the silence between the two of you. Okay, so um, we want to go ahead and see what these, what their, or perhaps your silence is saying. Okay, why there's no contact or no communication, why they're not reaching out or not responding. Just you know what's really going on here. This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Okay, guys, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and begin. Some interesting energies already. Okay, so you do have a bit of air energy here, and of course, air governs mental energy. So even though there's no contact or no communication right now, or even though the two of you aren't doing a whole lot of talking with one another, it feels like there will be some future contact or there will be some future communication. Um, I feel like there will also be a lot of mental clarity with regards to what's really going on with your current situation. So just because things seem a little bit uncertain now between the two of you, a little bit ambiguous, um, a little bit disorientating even, I feel like within the very near future, because swords are, you know, much more, if we were to correlate it to a time frame, swords are a much more faster moving energy than the suit of pentacles or the suit of cups, right? Um, swords governs air energy you know think when the wind blows it happens very quickly so it may just be a matter of days or perhaps weeks before I feel like you're going to either hear from this person or before you might receive some information whether directly from your person or from connecting energies concerning their feelings for you perhaps even a little bit of insight there could also be communication from the universe here about this specific person that's coming in for you or you might be already these synchronicities might already be around you but perhaps some of you are not receptive okay because the universe is constantly talking and communicating with us but sometimes when we get in our own too head too much we don't necessarily you know respond to the communication we're not receptive here we're not in receptive mode and therefore we're not seeing all the signs and synchronicities that are coming in especially concerning this person or concerning your situation with them i do feel like this i'm seeing that this is an energy here with the four of wands this is an energy who does want to it feels like they want to come home to you so if the two of you are romantically involved with each other and you've had a bit of a discord or a disconnection with one another here there's been something um, a little bit uncomfortable something that's obviously wedged a bit of space and distance between the two of you it feels like this person wants to make you know their way back to you wants to make a return to you it's also an energy of joy it's an energy of harmony here it's a homecoming, isn't it? So I do think if there is a bit of a disharmony right now, the winds of fate are going to blow your way. And I feel like you will once again achieve a sense of harm, um, harmony in this connection here. So, you know, it, it's, I feel like it's a really good card to have here, especially for those of you that are a disconnection, because this is a homecoming. It's a reunion here. It's a reconnection here. It's it's a time where, and some of you might really be stressing or you might just really have this person on your mind a lot and you have to understand just because they're not communicating with you, it doesn't mean that they're not thinking about you. I mean, look at you, you've got a lot of air energy here. So they are thinking about you here and they do want to, it feels like this is someone who wants to come back to you or this is someone who wants to get closer to you. 
Now, for some of you, I feel like there is uh, someone else involved. So there's just more than two energies here. So there could be a third person. Now, this could be that you're in a relationship or you're in a marriage or a partnership here with someone else, or it could be your romantic energy. Maybe they're already in a relationship with you in a partnership here with someone else. And it, it just feels like, because I'm getting a distance here. So either geographical distance or an emotional distance and this is someone even though they're with someone else here this is someone who can't help but think about you okay this is someone who can't help but give in to their feelings here and it just feels like and this is why i'm getting harmony that i'm getting the notion of harmony right or balance rather um, it just feels like there's a bit of a disharmony, not because there's conflict or tension between the two of you. If any tension at all, it would be sexual tension. But it just feels like there's maybe someone else in the picture here that's causing a bit of a, you know, imbalance or a bit of a disharmony in this connection. And I feel like what this, what this person and you want is to somehow come together. But right now they're just not sure how it, ha how it's going to happen because they're attached to someone else or you're attached to someone else. And even though they're hoping for, you know, hoping to get intimate with you, hoping to get close to you. They don't know how to approach this situation. They don't know what to do here, especially with the, you know, uh, the two of pentacles and the two of swords in uh, reverse here. They're a little bit confused, okay? They could be confused about their emotions towards you. They could be confused as to if this person hasn't reached out and hasn't come forward with their feelings here, they may be questioning just how strong their feelings are for you or whether or not you reciprocate in return. It just feels like they're not seeing things very clearly. Neither are you. And the fact that you haven't necessarily reached out and they haven't necessarily reached out, I think this is what's really fueling and adding to this confusion here. I do see this person like writing and deleting their messages to you. I do feel like this is someone who's been wanting to reach out to you on so many occasions, but they don't know what to say or they don't know if it's a good thing. So this is a sign, um, especially with the Crescent Moon, over here in the corner this is a sign that you need to trust your intuition as does your person because the both of you feel some type of way about each other the both of you have what feels like a connection what feels like emotions and feelings towards one another and you're both quite confused right you're probably watching you know a lot of tarot readings or you're probably thinking about them a lot and just going over <clears throat> the conversations you have in your head but what's really going to help you and this person um you know gain some clarity or at least get, gain some insight into how the two of you feel is trusting your intuition on this okay so trust me when i say trust your intuition i feel like you'll come out on you know the right side of this um yeah it just feels like there's someone else here to me it feels like there's someone else and do you know what it's driving them crazy it's driving them crazy that they didn't meet you earlier in life it's driving them crazy that you know you're not saying anything and that you're hard to read that's the other thing you're coming up as even though they feel like you have a very warm nature when it comes to your emotions you're coming up as a king of swords someone who's very cool calm collected and not that you display an icy demeanor, but you're very hard to read and they don't know whether or not you're crushing on them or whether or not if they do make the right, if they do make a move, it would be the right thing to do. So you're a little bit like of a hard shell, you're hard to read. And that's the other thing that's driving them nuts. It's like if only they had some, you know, a green light from you, if only they had something to go by, I feel like your person would then make a move. I feel like I'm seeing you're communicating. I'm seeing you, you're seeing this person very soon. So are you, you're going to be seeing them. It could be because you guys work together. It could be because you have an appointment with this person. Or it could be because you, you've you got some sort of social invitation coming up where they're going to be in attendance. You're going to see this person very soon here. I'm also seeing that this is going to be a very... And maybe it's because... Because this homecoming that's coming up in your reading here, maybe it's because you haven't seen this person for a while. <clears throat> Suddenly you, you guys are going to get reconnected together. Um, they're going to feel really good about seeing you. In fact, they're really excited about seeing you. And I get that you're really excited about seeing them next. Again, the, the feeling is mutual here. They're really, they feel great. You make them feel really good about themselves. They feel great when they're with you. They love their, your energy. They're very attracted to your energy. But this silence between the two of you is, I think... And I don't think it's so much that you're ignoring each other. 
I don't think it's that and I don't think it's like a silent treatment that's not what I get I just think this is an energy where this person wants look uh, look at all this you know air energy mental energy this person has you on their mind a lot and they, they have so much to communicate with you they have so much to say but they don't know they're so confused and they don't know how to go about that so I think it's you know it's not like a strategic type of silence you know they want to crawl under your skin it's just that you're not saying nothing they're not saying nothing and you're both kind of holding back holding back because it's this indecisive and it's rather confused type of energy here they could be trying to hide their feelings from, from you they could feel like they're unable to move forward in the situation and they feel a little bit stuck here they feel like they may need additional information um yes that's exactly what they feel like they need some sort of additional information which i think additional information means for instance they want to know that you know you feel this way about them or they want to know that you'd happily accept and not reject their advances and that you're into them and that you know them making a move would be the right thing so it just feels like they're a little bit overwhelmed by their emotions for you they're really crushing on you but it just feels like they don't know what to trust and what's right for you and what's right for them in the situation i do see them it feels like they have um, a really close connecting energy, like a friend or a loved one or even like a colleague who I feel like they're sharing a lot of their feelings with regarding the situation. And, you know, they're trying to see things from your perspective as well. Um, but I think what needs to, like something needs to happen in order for the situation to move forward, in order for the silence to come to an end or in order for them to reach out and communicate. So I don't know if whether it means you have to be the first one to do it. You have to make some sort of move to kind of, it doesn't have to be a big, bold, drastic move, but at least something little to just, you know, give them a bit of a poke, give them a little bit of a nudge along, tell them that you're interested, tell them that, you know, you're keen to maybe set up a date with them or, you know, go grab coffee or lunch just keep it casual keep it very light because i think that's where this is you know that's a good way to start so you guys don't feel so much pressure don't put pressure in yourselves okay just and again if they are in a relationship they're not encouraging you to do the wrong thing um i think at the end of the day you know you know you just need to trust your intuition whatever it's telling you so even if your intuition you know, if the cards here don't necessarily line up with your intuition, I'd rather that you supplement the tarot guide messages, you know, with your intuition instead, because that is never going to steer you wrong. I'm such a big believer in intuition, and that will never do wrong by you. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please share your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a reading, feel free to inquire. Good luck, guys. Bye for now.